The Pentagon is getting thousands of American troops ready for possible deployment to Eastern Europe. Tensions soar today between Russia and the West as Russia builds up its troops on Ukraine's border. China also put the U.S. military on high alert with aggressive actions in Taiwan. Chris Wynn breaks it all down from Washington. Amid mounting fears of a Russian incursion into Ukraine, even as we continue to prioritize diplomacy and dialogue, we must also increase readiness. The Biden administration is considering deploying several thousand U.S. troops to Eastern Europe and the Baltics, the potential move meant to deter Russia from invading Ukraine. The United States has taken steps to heighten the readiness of its forces at home and abroad so that they are prepared to respond to a range of contingencies, including support to the NATO response force if it is activated. With Russia amassing troops along the Ukrainian border and British intelligence services reporting the Kremlin's possible intentions to install a pro-Russian leader in Kiev, U.S. and NATO allies are taking a firmer stance. The Kremlin called those reports hysteria. The United States will act firmly in defense of its national interests in response to actions by Russia that harm us, our allies, our partners. Russia sees NATO's growing support for Ukraine as a threat to its own security. There are certain basic principles uh, that we're not, in, by one iota, going to compromise on, including, for example, uh, NATO's open door. Uh, the right of countries to uh, choose with whom they'll associate. The U.S. military also reacting to another incident overseas after dozens of Chinese warplanes crossed into Taiwan's air defense identification zone Sunday and Monday. China's aggression following a U.S.-Japan show of naval force in the Philippine Sea. In Washington, I'm Chris Wynn.